For the Soyuz 95 launch of 2020, INSPAS will be orbiting two satellite passengers from the spaceport in French Guiana, GCSAT-17 for the operator Skyper 5 GSAT, and Yokomsat 2B for the Korean Aerospace Research Institute CARI. We are proud to have been selected by CARI to launch the two spacecraft of the two Yokomsat 2 series of civilian geostationary orbiting satellites, Yokomsat 2A and Yokomsat 2B, which is an important national program for the country. INSPAS successfully lofted Geocomsat 2A in December 2018, which today is busy gathering data on meteorological conditions at the Earth's surface. Hello, I am Geocomsat Program Director in charge of GK2A and GK2B satellite. Geocomsat 2 Program is a national program of the Korean government to develop and operate two civilian geo satellites, Geocomsat 2A and 2B. Geocomsat 2B satellite was worth developed by CARI with the support of the Ministry of Science and ICT, Ministry of Environment, and Ministry of Ocean and Fisheries as a 10-year mission life, like the Geocomsat 2A satellite. Geocomsat 2B satellite has two types of payload for observing the atmospheric environment and marine environment around the Korean Peninsula. The first payload is an environment payload and ultra-precision optical system for observing fine dust and other materials in the air. It will observe 20 kinds of important information from Japan in the east to northern Indonesia in the west. It will also trace the migration paths of fine dust to analyze scientifically the impact of off-seas dust on the domestic atmospheric environment of Korea. The information can be used for establishment of air quality improvement policies and also it carries the world's first geo-orbit environment observation payload. The second payload will be used for the observing marine disaster and performance of GK2B has been significantly improved in terms of resolution from 500 meters to 250 meters compared to Cheolyan 1 launched in 2010. It will contribute to the protection of the marine environment and management of marine resources by monitoring the dumping of pollutants into the sea and the change in sea water quality. Moreover, it can be widely used for maritime safety and defense activities by observing sea currents and sea fouls. Finally, we expect the launching of GK2B following GK2A to establish a world-class service system for the observation of the meteorological, atmospheric, and oceanic conditions of the Korean Peninsula. Thank you, Ariane Space and CNES CS teams, and thanks to all of GK2 program members. Geocomsat 2B is riding in IN 5's lower payload position and its deployment into geostationary transfer orbit will occur approximately 31 minutes into the missions. It has been a great pleasure to manage both Geocomsat 2 missions since CARI's contract signature with INS Pass in 2015. And specifically, I would like to thank CARI for its confidence in INS Pass and in particular Dr. Jeo Dong Choi, Program Director, and Dr. Ho Yong Lee the Launcher Interface Manager, who always adopted a constructive approach throughout the preparation for these missions. My thanks also go to the CNES teams at the spaceport, and of course, special thanks to all my colleagues from INSPAS involved in the preparation of flight VA-252. I wish all the best to Geocomsat 2B.